Interesting to see that we have Asian hornets in the feeders. <laughs> but these are all stuck in here, so I'll leave this closed. There's probably 20 or so in here. And these will all be found in queens. And you can even like give them a bit of a squash there, look, like that, and squash them. And do another one, lovely. Right through the plastic. But there you go. So can't sting you. So, <laughs> another one, dead. Another one, dead. Another one, dead. <laughs> Yeah, just moving some nukes this morning. These last nukes that should be moved a couple of weeks ago are all gonna go back home. Um, you see, this is where the hornets know there was a, a hive being that was available to be robbed out. You can see uh, that they're all clambering to get back into feed and they're at the end of the season now. These, are just, uh, these, are, these queens have just emerged, they're after food. But they do say when you get two that fight together, they're from um, different colonies. So it's interesting to watch because you see some come along and they fight, you see some that don't. So there really is quite a few here. This is the highest concentration I've ever seen all year. And um, it's only because there's a nest around here or two nests or three nests that have uh, come to their end of their life cycle and all the queens have come out. And for the last six weeks, they've been hunting on the ivy. So we haven't seen any real increase in, um, in workers, but um, you know, what can you do? Nothing. Miss those. <laughs> Gotta be careful you don't get stung because they hurt like hell. But there you go, just wanted to share that with you. So, um, those are dead anyway. There's still quite a few in there. Not the best video, but I'm gonna get these hives loaded up. And uh, another load to do at the back, but at least we're moving these bees now out of the way when they, um, when they need it. Get them back on slightly dry. It's quite damp down here, you see. So we've uh, we're moving these bees back out of the way for the winter, and uh, these here would actually probably be okay because they need to be in a bit of sunlight. But uh, then, which they've got, the sun does just make it up there. But when I do have stuff over wintering, I like it to be as dry as possible. And the air here is very damp and very cold. That's why we use it as a mating station in the summer. But uh, interesting on the hornets. But nothing we can do about it. But uh, hey ho, you know? It's just quite satisfying squashing queen hornets. Well, that seemed to work pretty well. I think I might leave this out. There's just so many around. Go on, get back in there. Gotcha. So they're all loaded now, all assorted mini plus, and some dead on five frame nukes from the, all from the mating station, all done. These will be put away, all the top feeders. Oh, they're all good, all queen right. But while I'm here, I'll just show you this. This is emptied two days ago. You can see how many Asian hornets there are around at the moment. There's a fair few wasps in there as well, but we don't obviously want to trap them too much, but there's a few in there all the same. And another one up here, look. So uh, you can just see the, the traps are almost full now. There's just, uh, you know, it's just absolutely full. 
There's just loads around. This is one we emptied, a few emptied from the day three the other week. So we're getting a lot of dead Asian hornets now, and these are all queens. They might not look that big, but they are actually all found in queens. So, there, yeah, there you go. A lot around. Next spring, we'll have to trap like mad. Make sure we get those numbers down early. So I'm back at the home apiary now where I'm going to unload all this, all these mini nukes and uh, extra nukes I had. I'm basically going to struggle to find a place for them all, but I will. There's um, a few spaces here and there, but there's also the tidy up time. There's an awful lot of feeders to collect and generally putting things back into place, moving nukes around that I didn't use. So these are the feeders I took off the other day. They're all ready now just to uh, take back and wash up. You know, they just all need a good clean. It's that time of year where you've got to put everything away and there's an awful lot of work to do, but uh, it's easy when you do it all at once, you just, you just unload, then reload, and then you can go back, go, go back to the workshop, sort it all out there, and uh, get on with things there, but lots to do. Never a dull moment. I'm actually really looking forward to it all done. I want to get it all done finished so I can then um, kind of say that's it for the year. And this weather is going to continue this week. It's going to be actually up to 17 again in a few days. There's not a lot of pollen around now. The ivy is finished. There's a few things here and there um, that the bees are on. But uh, basically that is it. And this, this weather will give them really time to just um, centralize their stores and get everything organized. I mean, I had a look in some colonies yesterday and they're all absolutely honey bound, which is exactly what we want this time of year. So um, it's, not, it's not been a bad autumn. It's been excellent for us to be honest. All the bees are having a flight today, as you can see, all looking good, all flying really well. Look at these colonies there, nice. A few Asian hornets around here, but nothing like there was at the mating station. They're all looking great there. Overall, it's a really good end to the year. I can't complain. At all. Just going to get on with some work now. Get my finger out and get on. I really like to get inside my hives this time of year, just to have a very last look. To get the overall impression of how things are looking. See what the frames are looking like. This queen has actually shrunk down in size. A lot of these queens were huge when they went in in the autumn. They were laying like like trains and uh, actually they're slowing down now and well they virtually stopped laying and the queens have shrunk down in size their abdomen does decrease uh, well that's what i find anyway these are my wooden original wooden nukes i made um and uh look at that that's firstly honey that's been back filled with honey that part of the brood nest which is good so that's blocked off very happy with that Pretty good overall, very happy. Leave these alone for the winter. What lovely bees. Give them another oxalic acid very soon because I know they're virtually broodness now. So um, any further mites will just not keep knocking those numbers down. I'm considering a dribble this year, but I'm still 50-50 whether I do it or not. Because I'm just not a fan of dribbling, but I just think it might be a good thing to do as an alternative. There we go. So look at this frame because I can. See how the honey goes further down on this side. So I'm pretty happy with that. Really nice. All ready to explode next spring. Look at that honey continuing right down on this side. The mid frames are lighter on honey, which is what you'd expect. The outer frames are completely packed with it. Just such nice bees. Something was done right this summer anyway. I managed to get a few good matings anyway, and it looks like they're nice and calm. It looks like they're pretty productive as well. Let's pop that back in. Really gently, we do not want to squash any queens this time of year. So closing off my top to the feeders. On goes the aluminium for the winter. A little piece of wood here that used to be, I used for feeding through sometimes. And then on goes the lid and we're done. That's it, done for the winter. So here's one I'm glad I found one I did. There's not, nothing I can do about it now. It's laying workers. The queen is obviously long gone. There's lots of drone being produced. Well, not lots, but a few. And uh, the bees are uh, kind of, there's not that many bees actually. There's not as many as I thought there might be. It's not a very big colony. So it's, it's evidently it's been like this for a while. Um, I wouldn't say, I haven't even looked at the rest of the colony. I'd say that's laying workers and not um, a drone laying queen because there's actually a lot of eggs per cell, which is the classic. 
And you can see these um, drones are being born, but they're being kind of cannibalized as they're born. So, um, you know, this is what happens. But I'll shake these bees out. I've got actually another load of nukes on the truck. I'll shake these bees out in front and put this nuke, um, shake the nuke out in front and all the, all the bees that are any good will beg their way in and the drones will probably be dead overnight. But, uh, you know, the drones are gonna die now anyway. So um, it's the best way of doing things. It just means that you're cleaning up things pretty much quickly in time for the winter and then you're moving on. So you're not gonna have this dead over the winter. So I've put that new white nuke in its place and shaken the bees out of here. Now what I can do now is if I find a collie only has four, four frames in or five frames is missing one, I can then give it some of this honey. Nothing is, is, is wasted. Perfect time to do it when you've got um, nukes you're bringing back. Check on the others, and if you need to back up anything, you can. Swap it around, jiggle it around till it's ready for the winter. So all the hives are going to the winter completely full. It's all good news. It's, you, you're going to get one or two anyway that are like this. It's just the way it is.